I am Mona Negum and uh, I have uh, been in, this, in the United States for the past uh, 52 years. Uh, I am a resident of Montgomery County. I've been uh, living in Montgomery County for the past 45 years. Uh, I uh, raised my children here. I, I, uh, we got our education here at the University of Maryland, so Montgomery County is my home. Uh, as a, you know, uh, a new immigrant, I couldn't speak the language and I didn't understand the culture. And so uh, we went through uh, phases of um, reorientation where uh, I had to learn how to adapt to our new, to my new culture. And it ha it was a, a, a struggle. The pain of just being being so totally, completely alone, and you could be in a crowd. You could be in the middle of a crowd, and be so alone. You know, you never, you could never imagine that. Be so, and surrounded in a party, and you'd be so alone, because you're trapped inside a body that doesn't know, doesn't know how to, doesn't know anybody, doesn't know how to communicate, doesn't know. The culture, you don't know if you, you go hug somebody, if they're going to look at you strange. You don't know if you <laughs> make a, a pot of grape leaves to somebody, if she's going to turn green and run away from you. You don't know. So it, it was very difficult. It was very, very difficult. And that's what gave me the passion to, to help others who are in the same boat, you know. And it was a, it's a healing process. It's a healing process. How to learn how to listen to other people, how to understand their culture. If you really want to reach out to their heart, know, what, what, know where they're coming from. Understand their needs. Uh, don't go in preaching and pretending that you know something that you know better than they are. They have treasures inside, you know, experience that people have no idea they have, you know, and, what, and you can learn a lot from them. So that's, that's the beginning. I'm so fortunate. I am so fortunate that I'm able to, that he has put me through this road so I can get to a point when my life is about, you know, I'm in the last stage of my life. And to be able to give back and to be able to have the health and to have the, the mind and to have all that experience and to have the education and to be able to give that to be needed, you know? It's the most incredible gift. It's the most wonderful blessing that God has ever given me. It's the ability to give back. It's to be needed and to have something that others want, you know? Uh, what more can one want? You know, that, that is, for me, that's rich. It's like touching the face of God. <laughs>